Hello folks, Scott here with my 10 cards featuring the Love From Lizzie April 2019 Bon Voyage card kit. Now this kit features a rather masculine color palette with all sorts of travel images and embellishments and sentiments that just seem to beg for those old fashioned collage type cards. As usual, I do take the five card stocks provided in the kit to make my 10 card bases. I did replace Lizzie's super smooth Copic friendly white cardstock with some white cardstock of my own. So let's see where Lizzie's Bon Voyage card kit takes us this month. I have to admit I liked a lot of the pattern papers and cut up cards in this kit so much and my eye was instantly drawn to the very large half globe that was on one of our pattern papers. So for our first card this month this is on the peach card base we get Explore the World, a very collage card here. Now, I took this globe image, cut it away from one of its pattern papers. I did fussy cut all of the banners out. I added a little brad in the little curly cue border up here. I added some twine from the kit. I did take the wood veneer geotag from our embellishments kit and covered that with the bottle green Nuvo drops. Let that dry. I glued that onto this globe piece exactly where the printed geotag was. I did do a little ink distressing around the edges of the globe and those strips that are along the side. I did cut out one of these blue-gray London bus tickets from another piece of the pattern paper and glued those just to the left of the center here. I trimmed these three little tickets out of another piece of pattern paper and slid those right behind that. I outlined those tickets with the peel-offs from our kit. I added the globe and everything attached to that. On top of that, on the left side of the card with foam tape, I did cut one of those sentiment strips from that sentiment strip pattern paper, embrace the detours, added that on top of this across the whole card using some more foam tape. And one of my great discoveries was that the stamps that are on that stamp pattern paper actually fit the little stamp frame that came in our embellishments bag. So this is that little wood veneer stamp frame. I simply took my picket fence white distress crayon and I did a light white washing on that cut one of the stamps out from that pattern paper glued that to the back of that added that to the front of the card with a foam square I stamped the sentiment from the kit on the bottom right here that's stamped in faded jeans distress oxide ink and embossed with some clear embossing powder I rounded the corners with my corner chompers did a little distress inking on the edges with some vintage photo distress oxide ink. Explore the world. This is a perfect example of what I think this kit was created for. A nice fun collage type card. Explore the world. My only question with this kit was, I'm not particularly familiar with giving people cards when they're going on vacation or about to take a trip. I mean, usually people send me cards <laughs> saying, wish you were here. We're having a fabulous time on our vacation. So you know that I happen to be a little anal retentive about finding uses for all of my cards. So for this card, Explore the World, I decided to turn this into a retirement card. Happy retirement. I created the happy retirement sentiment using my Silhouette software. This is in the Sign Painter font. That went pretty well with the scripty font that was used on the sentiments in our kit. So this card actually includes pieces from five different pattern papers, two wood veneer pieces, a brad, some twine, Nuvo drops, and one of our stamps. Now, if that's not the definition of a collage, I'm not sure what is. Very pleased with that. That big globe was one of my favorite images in those pattern papers. Explore the world. Happy retirement. <laughs> now, of course, my attention was drawn to the lovely dies that were included with this kit. We got five dies, most of them larger than the dies that we normally get in a kit. Highly intricate. I was really looking forward to using those dies. 
Of course, I thought that scooter die was tons of fun and quite unique. So on a soft gray card base, we get Vroom with a view. <laughs> I think that describes the scooter perfectly right there. <laughs> I die cut that scooter die out of the Silver Mirror Specialty card stock from the kit. I then glued that down to a piece of plain blue card stock of my own, trimmed around that with my scissors. I did take a little gray alcohol marker to darken the wheels and the little floorboard there, just for a little extra dimension there. I took a piece of our map pattern paper that actually has some of that collage layering over here on the left. I cut that to two inches by five and a half, glued that down the center of our card. This is one of our stamps, the Adventure Stamp. I stamped that on the top and the bottom of that strip of map using Hero Arts Blue Reactive Ink. Of course, I turned to my Silhouette Portrait and Silhouette Software to create this sentiment, this room with a view. This is, of course, using that Sign Painter font and also the Arial font for the With A. I did cut the shadow of that about four times so I could glue them all together, make a nice little chunky vroom with a view sentiment. I attached that and the scooter to the card front with some foam squares. Of course, that's not enough for me. We've got vroom with a view on the front of this card and let's scoot. <laughs> There's a nice little pun there. Let's scoot. Vroom with a view. I like that quite a bit. And that scooter die is just kind of amazing. <laughs> As is often the case when we are treated to 12 by 12 cut apart sheets, we often get a big sheet of stickers too. The stickers that came in this Love from Lizzie kit were really terrific stickers, a huge variety and assortment. This is on the aqua card base and we've got those balloons. The sky is the limit. Again, a very kind of collage type card. I took that balloon pattern paper and I trimmed that down to about two and an eighth just to get the whole parts of the balloons on both sides. Glued that down to the left side of this aqua card base. I took little strips of that blue gray polka dot pattern paper and lined the two sides of that. I went back to that sentiment striped pattern paper. I love that pattern paper with all the sentiments. So many uses for that. I, you'll see those a lot in these cards. This is the world is yours. The world is yours. I cut that away from that pattern paper, glued that over my strip here, outlined that with a couple more peel offs from our set. The sky is the limit is actually an old Stampin' Up stamp in my stash. I think this is the only real Stampin' Up set that I actually have. <laughs> I stamped that on a piece of aqua blue cardstock from my stash. Really close match there. I also, it's kind of hard to see because it's so light, but I did take my little My Favorite Things Mini Cloud Edges stencil and did some really soft clouds over here on this side. I think you can see it there. Just real soft clouds to remind us that these balloons are in the sky. <laughs> I attached the three balloon stickers to the card front with some foam squares. I made sure that these two left ones went over the edges of the card and trimmed those down just a little bit for a little bit of motion and action. Finally, I took some sequins from our sequin mix and added those to this card front for a little sparkle and shine. The sky's the limit. There was also one more sticker that I thought went really well with this sentiment, go far. And that's a great graduation card, promotion card, any kind of a real congratulations card. The sky is the limit. Love those balloon stickers. We were also treated to one of the most unique stamp sets we've gotten in a long time, featuring that great little map stamp on the ivory card base. We've got Adventure Awaits. Now, I could not anymore resist turning that map stamp into a treasure map than I could resist calling myself Scott. <laughs> it is so I don't know. I was going to color these map stamps too, but I tell you, once I made this treasure map out of that map stamp, I don't think I could use it for anything else but more treasure maps. I did stamp that stamp on just a piece of plain 
parchment typing paper. This is plain parchment, 24 pound printer paper. I stamped on this using my Acorn archival ink so it wouldn't smear on anything. I then, of course, stamped all of the little mountains and the trees, and there's the little church and another mountain range. I filled all of the islands up with the little landmark stamps in the kit. And then I took that whole piece and just wadded it all up and rolled it around in my hands. And then, of course, opened it back up and started doing some ink blending on that. So this is ink blended with frayed burlap, vintage photo, wall and stain, light little touches of ink all over it. I would ink it up some and then I'd wad it up again and then I'd ink it up some more and wad it up again and then I'd ink it up a little more and tear the corner off and ink the edges. Of course, instead of cutting the map out, I tore it out from its piece of paper and just continued to distress it until it came to this beautiful old map that someone found that actually has a little treasure marked on the top there. Now, I distressed this so much that when I started to use my markers to mark the treasure trail, they started bleeding because the paper had gotten so porous. So I went to a red pen and just a couple of little strips of red cardstock to make the X there. That's our little dotted line around the mountains to the back of the island, and that's where our treasure is located. I took a piece of that beige striped pattern paper cut it to size and glued it to the left side of my ivory cardstock. I took a piece of the brown peel-offs, lined the right side of that striped pattern paper. I stamped the Adventure Awaits stamp in the bottom corner here. I stamped that using walnut stain ink and then embossed that with some clear embossing powder. The Compass Rose I stamped with Versamark ink and embossed that with the new copper embossing powder. Really nice, good shine there. Nothing else on the front of this. That's your big treasure map, Adventure Awaits. I thought that the Bone Voyage stamp went perfectly with this card. So again, stamped the exact same way on the inside with walnut stain ink and embossed with some clear embossing powder for a little shine. Bon Voyage. Now there's a real travel card for you. Adventure Waits. I could see giving this to anybody who's getting ready to take their first cruise or actually go to a deserted island. <laughs> So let's play with those dyes some more. I had a really great sailboat sentiment that I was dying to do. So on another soft gray card base, we get, you can't control the wind, but you can trim the sail. <laughs> now there's a card with a purpose. <laughs> I actually took the two white tags from our embellishment kit for this card. I don't often use tags on my card, but I thought they were very appropriate for this one. I ink blended the background again using that mini cloud edges stencil, using the salty ocean and broken china and also the Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide inks to do this background. Lots of clouds, lots of turbulence back there. I cut the sailboat from the Gold Mirror specialty cardstock in our kit. Beautiful die. I love the fact that the sails are what has all of those little curly cues in it. I did put a piece of vellum behind the sails and trim that to match the sails. I put a little piece of red glitter cardstock behind those heart-shaped portholes on the side of our ship. I then cut two pieces of that blue-gray striped pattern paper into little scallops for my waves. I cut two more pieces of that to go on the sides across the middle of our card. I trimmed those out with some of the super thin peel-offs from our kit. That goes right across the center of our card. I took the second white tag and covered that with that London bus ticket pattern paper and then tied those both together on the same piece of twine. Now I was looking for some glitter cardstock, but all my glitter cardstocks had like the wrong color to them. So I ended up taking a scrap of cardstock and I just embossed a spot of that Ohala graphic embossing powder, new from Love from Lizzie. I embossed a spot down towards the edge of this cardstock and die cut that cloud. It came out really nice. I don't know if the camera is going to show that, but there are great 
colorful reflections in that cloud. I glued that right down to the background, mounted the waves and the sailboat up with some foam squares. I created that sentiment using my Silhouette software, and I tried to style that after the strip sentiments that came on that pattern paper. This is in the Arial font. I printed this in that dark blue with the type in white on top and trimmed that out, added that to the front of my card with some foam strips. You can't control the wind, but you can trim the sail. A final touch of a few of our Nouveau drops on the front of this card for a little bit more shine, a little bit of dimension. There's our great sailboat die from this kit. You can't control the wind, but you can trim the sail. I like this quite a bit. So we also got that gigantic card die in our kit this month. It takes up a whole card practically. I thought it would be interesting to try and dry emboss that die instead of actually cutting it out. So for our next card here, we're back to the ivory card base. We've got Keep on traveling with that beautiful silver car. I figured it would make a really nice embossed image and would be fairly simple to trim out by hand. Now this keep on traveling sentiment is actually like a slogan of the travel guru, Rick Steves, who's a travel writer and a PBS travel host. He's like all over the place, has been for 20 years. I really like him because he thinks that the more Americans travel internationally, the more we become progressive and peaceful and kind. So he's trying to spread kindness one international trip at a time. <laughs> Love that car. All those curly cues look great, especially when they're just embossed in. You don't have to worry about covering the back with anything. A really nice car die. <laughs> now, I took this image from one of the cut apart sheets. This was probably my favorite image from all of the cut apart sheets. I love the fact that we've got a plane and a car and a boat on this. <laughs> I matted that image on a medium brown mat, glued that to the left side of this card. I trimmed out and embraced the detour sentiment strip and slipped that underneath my image on the left to go across the card. Some more beige stripes on the right side from that striped pattern paper. We've got that wood veneer compass up left here. Keep on traveling, of course, I printed right on my cardstock using my Silhouette software. And then I added three little gems underneath that sentiment. Those gems are from the Love From Lizzie March of 18 card kit. I still have tons of those gems. I love them. They're tiny, they're copper, they're very masculine for gems. <laughs> Keep on traveling. No big sentiment on the inside. I did add that not all who wander are lost sentiment strips on the bottom here. That is matted on some more of that blue-gray polka dot pattern paper. Lots of pattern papers in this kit. I really like that car die. Really something special. Keep on traveling. Now there's a real honest to goodness travel card for you. <laughs> now out of all of our cut apart sheets, I thought the two by two inch cut apart sheets were as extremely interesting because not only did they have a lot of images, there was also lots of sentiments there as well. And every time I looked at that two by two inch cut apart sheet, I started forming a little story in my mind, a little travel story. And I was thinking about making some kind of a travel album or a travel photo book or something. But this is what we came up with. This is on a white card base. And yes, we get a waterfall card. <laughs> this is the first waterfall card I've ever made. Waterfall cards have been around forever. Of course, me being who I am, I did make this waterfall card with six layers, <laughs> but it does tell a little bit of a story. We've got getaway on the top here, and then we go to away we go with the plane. The next one is we're here on the beautiful beach, resort beach. And then we go to love this place with the mountains, that beautiful mountain image. Wander more, that great ship image with the two people in front. That brings us to 
collect moments with the camera above, collect moments below, and of course, finally, home sweet home and the hidden message we missed you. <laughs> That's a nice travel card that you give somebody when they get back from their six-month cruise. <laughs> home sweet home, a fun waterfall card. There are tons and tons of waterfall card explanations and how-tos on YouTube. This is really a very simple interactive card of course, all of those images were two by two, but I matted them on that stamp pattern paper that actually had the polka dots on the back of that. So I cut mats for all of those that were two and a quarter inches square. Since this was the first waterfall card I had ever done, I decided I should probably do a template, make some kind of a template to see if I have my measurements right. My mechanical piece here, this is the mechanical piece that works that. This is actually cut at one and three quarters of an inch wide by eight and a quarter inches long. And this is scored at two and a quarter, two and one half, two and three quarters, three inches, three and a quarter, three and a half, three and three quarters. So there's seven total score marks on this. I cut a piece of that pattern paper at two and a quarter inches by eight inches to wrap around our card base. So that's what actually holds the whole piece down. The home sweet home cut apart goes on the bottom here with its mat and then you just add a mat at every one of those folds on our mechanical piece and then fold the top down Wrap this around whatever your background is going to be. I use that plain background paper that's cut at four inches by five and a quarter. Just wrap that around the edges and glue that down on the back. Now, I did get a little obsessive here and I glued it on the front here, but I don't think you really have to glue it on the front. And it does make this a little stiff on that last flip, just a little stiff there. So I think you can glue it just on the back, make some flip really very easy. Of course, each one of these six layers has three layers on it because there's a layer on top, there's the mat, and then there's the picture on the back. So this is a pretty hefty little kind of a thick card, but not unbelievable. <laughs> I did cut another piece of that compass pattern paper. This is one and five eighths inch wide by four and a half inches long. I use that to mat on top of my, I use that brown cardstock. Good stiff, this is 100 pound cardstock. Whatever you make your mechanism out of, you want it to be a nice, good, sturdy cardstock. I was gonna use one of the pattern papers in the kit, but I thought it might be a little too thin. So I used some nice 100 pound cardstock for my mechanism. I matted the compass pattern paper on top of that. After, of course, I had printed the We Missed You sentiment on that strip that, again, of course, is in the Sign Painter font. I added a little brad and a piece of our twine to the bottom of that to tell people that, yes, you pull it here. This is a nice little travel log <laughs> that goes from planning a trip to coming back. Get away. Away we go. We're here. Love this place. Wander more collect moments, and home sweet home. I'm kind of thrilled with my first ever waterfall card. I will have to remember that this is really a fairly simple and very effective interactive card. Nothing on the inside here. We explain the whole story right there on the top. <laughs> now, for some reason or another, it seems that when I get to card six or seven in my 10 card kits, I start getting a little silly, a little punny. I have used all of the sentiment stamps in our kit so far, so I kind of am left to my own devices. <laughs> I love this card. This is on the aqua card base, and we get, I'm just a little dorky. 
but I like you a lot. <laughs> I'm just a little dorky. Isn't that funny? <laughs> this makes me giggle so much. When I saw that we got these little metal keys in our embellishment bag, I was so excited because I knew I could use this pun. I'm just a little dorky, but I like you a lot. <laughs> really fun. I think this still really has that nice vintage kind of retro flavor to it. I think this oval frame for our key helps contribute to that. I took two of my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies and used those to cut this polka dot frame for the outside of this card front. I then went to my Simon Says Stamp frames dies to make this really thin silver frame and this scallop frame here. These are both in that die set. I think this is the first time I've used these. I have to say I really like that skinny silver frame there. So nice. And of course I used that scallop frame on the blue pattern paper. This is from one of the pattern papers and the scallop outline for that is of course from our specialty card stock. I'm just a little dorky. I printed on <laughs> the card front. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just a little dorky is printed using the typewriter hand font. I'll have all of these fonts linked on my website at cardcutups.com. This is again using my Silhouette software. That software is free. If you need any kind of fun layout software, I think the Silhouette software is really great. You can see here that I actually was able to lay out the whole card using that software and decide exactly where that sentiment needs to get printed. This came out so nice. This makes me giggle so hard. <laughs> I'm just a little dorky, but I like you a lot. Oh, there's a really good pun for us this month. I love this little key. I love the fact that it's a little heart as well. This is a great Valentine card or just a friendship card or just a I like you a lot card. <laughs> and I like to think that I'm not necessarily <laughs> dorky, but <laughs> maybe this card cements my reputation. <laughs> so on our sticker sheet, we had two big words that had sticker letters. We had the word here and the word view. They didn't really speak to me as far as here and view goes, but I was able to come up with another way to use them on the other peach card base. We get we <laughs> Yes, an actual we card. The little sentiment under that we says, life is a grand adventure. We it sure is. <laughs> This card gives me so much pleasure. I have to admit that I use we a lot, especially in texts and online <laughs> on that peach card base. I did take one of those stickers, that fake washi tape stickers, and laid that across the center of our card here. After I put a little piece of my own washi tape underneath that, I trimmed out two of the sentiment strips that say explore and discover. They both say the same things. Added those to the top and bottom of our card base. Now the we, you don't know it when you look at it, but it turns out that the view word is about one sixteenth of an inch taller than the here word. <laughs> so I had to adjust an E and the W. I just trimmed a sixteenth inch off the bottom of the W. That was easy. For the last E there, I actually trimmed a sixteenth inch off between that top leg and that bottom leg. But where did that exclamation point come from? Well, I cut that out of the eye, the eye that I didn't use from view. I took a hole punch and punched out a little hole for the bottom of the exclamation point, used the rest of that eye to cut out the exclamation point there. Whee! <laughs> 
I fussy cut the compass out of our sticker sheet from that really long, long, long border piece. Two of the arrows from the sticker sheet, I've attached everything to the front of the card using foam strips, lots of dimension there, a nice collage card. Life is a grand adventure. Whee! <laughs> so that brings us to our last card. There were a couple of things in this kit that I hadn't used yet that I was itching to use. That colorful globe sticker from the sticker sheet was calling my name. I haven't used the airplane die yet. And I couldn't help but think of the old Universal Pictures movie logo that had that little plane flying across the front of a globe. I think that was their very first movie logo. Really, really old antique. On our last white card base, we get Let's Travel the World Together. And yes, we've got a pull tap card. And that airplane <laughs> travels across the world. <laughs> of course, we also get Great Adventure. That's one of the stickers from the sticker sheet. Let's travel the world together. We've got two more of those sentiment strips at the top and bottom. We are adventurers. This one says Wander More. Let's travel the world together. This is really a very simple pull tab card. I just cut an extra piece of white cardstock to two and an eighth inches by five and a half inches wide. I divided that globe sticker into two, cut it in half right along the equator, glued one to that extra piece, glued the other to the card base, made a little channel on the back of this front piece for our little pull tab to go in. I attached the airplane to that pull tab with a little piece of acetate. It's right behind the wings there. There you go. You can see that reflection right there. Of course, I did just dry emboss that plane again, so none of the curly cues came out, but they add lots of depth and dimension to that simple shape cut out. Let's travel the world together. Wander more. We are adventurers, and we're going to have a great adventure. A nice interactive pull tab card. I couldn't resist making something move <laughs> in this traveling card kit. <laughs> I really like that. For a final touch, I added some of those clear silver peel-offs that have the little double stripes of silver on them. Top and bottom of the card, that gives us a little shine, gives everything a nice little frame. Let's travel the world together. Great adventure. <laughs> so that's my 10 cards from the Love From Lizzie April 2019 Bon Voyage card kit. A really nice group of very masculine cards, actually. I really liked the color palette on this. There's nary a touch of pink. Okay, there's a little pink on that balloon there, but tiny, tiny, tiny bits of pink. I love my little treasure map over here. I love that globe sticker. I never thought I'd be able to create a wee card. I had such a great time with these cards. I hope you enjoy those too. Of course, I do have gobs of supplies left over. Now, I actually kind of went to town on our pattern papers. I only have three sheets of pattern paper that are unadulterated. That means I cut pieces out of nine of our pattern papers. I kind of decimated <laughs> the two by two pattern paper sheet. There's plenty of them left there, but I did take a lot out of that. I only used one piece from this cut apart sheet I actually didn't use any pieces out of this cut apart sheet. Why, there's nine more cards right there, almost ready to go. I used a lot more stickers than I thought I would. Look at all those empty spaces. A lot of stickers from the sticker sheet. I really like all of these stickers. I, of course, have great amounts of our specialty cardstock left. I only cut that sailboat out of the gold one. I've got three or four cards with these peel-offs on it, but I've got almost a whole sheet of peel-offs left. I did finally, ultimately, manage to use every stamp in this stamp set. I don't think I pointed it out here, but that little bitty 
compass rose from our stamp set. I stamped that around my world sticker on this. A really soft blue. I think that's Hero Arts Summer Sky Ink. So very nice, but a really nice kind of frame around our world on that. I did manage to use all of those stamps in that stamp set. If I ever need a treasure map, that's where I'm going. <laughs> I used a couple of the new embossing powders on these cards. I used a little bit of everything in our embellishment bag. The only thing I didn't get to at all were those clothespins. I didn't use any clothespins in this. Once again, Lizzie has done it in giving us a great, fun, themed, overstuffed card kit. As of posting, there are still two or three kits left at the store. If I've sparked your interest at all in this card kit, please use my link in the description down below if you go shopping at lovefromlizzie.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a great time with these cards. I hope you like them too. Please let me know which cards are your favorite. And as always, please like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't travel with scissors. <laughs> and as always, happy crafting. If you would like more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com.